What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video and as you guys can see right now I shaved because yesterday I had an amazing day. My girlfriend and I were together for one year so we went out and celebrated with champagne and everything like that. So it was an awesome day. I hope you guys had an awesome day as well and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create the trap nation audio spectrum i want to mention that we're not we're not going to copy the entire thing such as the same background the same kind of visualizer that you guys are seeing and i also want to give a big shout out to ashley mills she is called on youtube my little monster because she also got a production crate pro membership so if you guys want to have a shout out in my next video make sure to check out the link in the description and get yourself a pro membership in there and then i can see who sign ups and you will get a shout out with your channel on screen in my next video and real quick you guys have been asking what that thing is on my nose right there <laughs> and it's super hot outside and you're keeping this sunglasses on for eight hours straight you have to understand that it can get a little bit messy and sweaty you know right on the nose so that's why I have that little thingy going on but that will just fade away in just a couple of days and I've been reading your comments and someone asked like Alex do you have fucking herpes on your nose <laughs> I laughed so hard at that, but guys, it was only just the sunglasses. Like I've said, we're gonna make the Trap Nation um, audio spectrum that you guys are familiar with. And for the people wondering, Alex, can you do one about no copyright sounds? Well guys, I already have done a uh, no copyright sounds uh, audio spectrum tutorial, and here's a clip of it right now. And as you guys can see, you can look through it. It is that awesome, it's that simple. You can look through it, but it, so this is how it looks when it's just playing without any music and everything. If you guys wanna see that full video, link is in the description so with that being said with that all out of the way let's go on to the computer and i'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it okay guys so now that we are on vegas pro 15 we are going to need a couple of things which is a background that we're going to drag in uh, right now okay so now that we have the background in what we're going to do then next is we're going to drag in some particles that also cap nation uses so we're going to also drag in those particles which are these ones as you can see but we're going to also just spice them up a little bit by adding a little bit more brightness and contrast just like that then we're gonna create a new video track and we're gonna place the particles on top of the background so we're gonna go ahead and make it a little bit longer like that so once we have done that we're not able to see through the particles so in order to fix that real simple go to the uh, uh, compositing mode and put that one to screen and if you guys are not seeing any of those icons go to those three stripes pick edit a visible button set and make sure that every single one of these is checked and then everything will be back and that works the same for audio and video tracks okay so once we've done that as you can see if we play back the video this is already what we have we have the nice background we have some particles flying and in order to make the particles real smooth right click on the particles properties uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable the resample now that we've done that it is time to drag in the uh, the logo of trap nation you can dr you can drag in any logo you like I'm gonna put that one on top of everything I'm gonna make that just as long as everything else then the logo is way too big so we're gonna resize those so go to track motion and then we're gonna go ahead and make it a little bit smaller like that now the big difference with no copyright sounds is that the trap nation icon or the I mean the logo is not moving on the music that is not the case with trap nation it is the case with no copyright sounds but this is not NCS this is trap nation so what we're gonna do trap nation has some really you know uh, difficult and uh, complicated audio visualizer done in probably after effects or premiere pro but we're gonna use a very simple one for this so we're gonna drag in that guy as well into our project which is going to be this guy as you can see and now the big question is Alex it doesn't move on the music well guys if you're uploading a music video nobody is going to really you know pay attention to it. are those waves moving on the music they're more likely going to listen to the music and enjoy the visuals and what they see instead of focusing if every single li little line is actually moving on the music with like no copyright sounds if you guys want to have a more complicated one about how to do that in after effects and how to make it move in after effects make sure to drop a like and let me know in the comments like yes alex we want a very very long and full-length complicated tutorial about how to do this in After Effects. So let me know below. Okay, so in order to do, so in order to see through this is we're gonna go ahead and create a new video track and we're gonna put that guy 
under the actual Trap Nation logo. So we're gonna put that guy down there. So once we've done that, as you can see, the logo is also vis uh, visible, but we want those lines just to be just to come out right under the logo. So we're gonna also spice this up a little bit by making it black and everything like that. Then we're gonna go to the track motion icon of the waves and we're gonna resize this until it actually uh, looks like it's coming under the logo, like that. And now the only thing we need to do is get rid of the black. So what we're gonna do first, there are two methods. The first method is to go to compositing mode and put them onto screen, as you can see right there. So if I go ahead and put the quality to full, if I play it back, as you can see the audio waves are coming out of the circle. And the other way to do it, just add in a black chroma key. And you know, by chroma key, I mean remove the black background. You know, the compositing mode is just way, way easier and way faster. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is drag in a song. Now, I want to mention that if you check out the description of Trap Nation's videos, that nor the images or the music is free to use. So the big question is, Alex, why are you using no copyright sounds on a Trap Nation video? Well, no copyright sounds is uncopyrighted or a at least, you know, free to use Trap Nation, it is not. So we're gonna drag in a very uh, cool song that I used as an outro of mine for a very long time, which is um, No Doubt. As you can see, here it is. So if I play it back, this is what it looks like. Okay, so now you're wondering, Alex, how do we fill up the whole song? Well, it's pretty simple. First, we're gonna stretch the whole background for the whole song, like this. Then we're gonna also stretch the uh, logo for the whole song. But if we're gonna stretch those particles, it is not going to look very smooth. So we're gonna trim this down, and we're gonna just go ahead and press Control C, Control V. We're gonna paste this and make sure it has a nice crossfade. And we're gonna do that for the entire song. So the particles will just repeat themselves and you will not pay attention and you will not even see that it is looped because the particles will keep coming. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make sure that we will just keep pasting them and overlapping them with the crossfade. As you can see those blue lines. So once we've done that, as you can see at the end, we can just go ahead and do that. Trim it right here and just add in a fade out. We're gonna also add in a fade out on the logo and on the background. The next thing we need to do is do the same for the audio visualizer. So we're going to trim this down until it remains a full circle, like this. And then we're going to just copy and paste it, copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste for the whole song. And that is how to do it. This is the cheap and the really fast way in order to create this awesome spectrum. Like I asked you guys, if you wanna see a full length complicated tutorial and a very in-depth tutorial about how to do this the proper way, I mean, this is a proper way as well. I mean, very hard to explain, but just way more advanced. That was the word I'm looking for. Okay, so if I go ahead and play it back, this is what it looks like. And that works for the whole song guys and obviously I would like to show you guys the full song but I'm not gonna bore you guys with like three minutes of just the song. That's how to do it guys. This is basically how to create a spectrum in Vegas Pro with the Trap Nation logo. Obviously you can just go ahead and you know use your own logo or use a different background. So that's it guys. I want to thank you for watching and this is how to do it. Okay guys that was the video. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I will catch you guys in a brand new video on Monday a deep web video which is all good which is going to be all about bitcoin so if you guys are excited for that make sure to stay tuned and keep an eye on your sub box and i will see you guys obviously in my next video